Brenna and Ruth from Rhode Island. What's your question for Tamar? Our question is, who is the Atlanta housewife that you hinted about having beef with on Instagram saying uh, her and her husband threatened you? <laughs> people think it was Eva. Oh, it was not. It's not Candy. Ooh. Oh, my oh. lamb. <laughs> I thought you and Candy mended everything after Big Brother. I thought so, too. And it really did happen. I'm not lying. Like, I'm not looking for attention or drama or anything like that. Right. But that really did happen. It's Justin Diego back with another Bumble video. And today, y'all, we have to talk about this Tamar Braxton and Candy Burris beef that's gone way too far. And I'm like, well, take it to what's the name of the level you want to take it to? Like, what you want to f Although I will say her, impre her impersonation of me was quite amusing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you said, you said, he did, he did steal from us. <laughs> <laughs> Because I feel like it's bad enough that Bravo then gave the Queen's Court an opportunity to be on Watch What Happens Live, which helps them promote their show. That really should have been reserved for Escape or SWV, so it's an extra slap in the face for them to use Candy's name to help Tamar and her girls trend. But hey, that's just me. Okay, after last night's episode of SWV and Escape, the last thing I expected was for Tamar to start trending for throwing shade at Candy Burris. Yes, Tamar was asked on Watch What Happens Live about that weird beef that she hinted on social media about several months ago now that went nowhere. And Andy really irritated me, trying to act like he didn't know who Tamar was talking about. People think it was Eva. Oh, it was not. It's not Candy. Ooh. Oh, my lamb. <laughs> I thought you and Candy mended everything after Big Brother. I thought so, too. Yeah. After that, in a desperate attempt to get Queen's Court trending off Candy's back, Tamar took the drama right to the internet, with Tamar responding to a friend that was shook about her throwing shade at Candy, tweeting, Before y'all start, I left the situation alone. But the fact is... Candy and Tide wanted to fight me, exclamation point, exclamation point, period. There was witnesses, and Junior came to the next show to check Tide, and she nor he won't address it, because how do you defend that? The facts are the facts, though. I'm off it. Hashtag changed. And another fan chimed in saying, man, they gotta stop falling for the bait on these questions. This just gonna start more drama with the side eye emoji. Y'all know Candy gonna speak on it. I wish Tamar would have just said, I changed and plugged the single. With Tamar clapping back saying, I answered the question like everybody else. I'm not scared of anyone or the truth, exclamation point. Y'all don't want me to say nothing because that's not her narrative on TV. It's been months and she addresses everything and everyone in all caps. Why not this with the side eye emoji? I welcome them both to speak on it and lie. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Before steering the conversation back towards the whole reason for this setup in the first place. Now, let's get back to our hit show on Peacock and now playing on Bravo. Hashtag Queen's Court with my gals. Yeah, but my issue is it's fine, I guess to use Candy's name for clout, but girl, Tamar, it shouldn't be this obvious. Tamar decided to entertain a question about this incident that happened several months ago in her desperate attempt to get her new show trending, and it kind of worked. So in order to understand this new drama that's really based off old drama, we've got to take it all the way back to where it first started. Last year, Candy decided to do interviews with some of the most binge-worthy content creators on YouTube, and my friend Aaron from House of Aaron ended up having one of the most viral interviews in this bunch after he almost made Candy cry when he got her to finally publicly confirm the tea about Carlos King allegedly trying to steal her life story. My main issue with Carlos is 
he is the one who stole my group's um, life story and sold it to TV One. I just thought that was the lowest thing that anybody could ever do. Wait, so what, how did and he I have really the rights to your like, story? He didn't have the rights to our story. And it was a really good interview that you should check out after you finish this video. But yes, after that interview dropped, everybody was talking about it. And Tamar Braxton eventually joined the conversation during a hosting gig that she had on Dish Nation. Welcome back. Yo, yo, hey. baby, this is just messy, 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 honey. Miss Candy Burris says, honey, former executive producer of Real Housewives of Atlanta star Carlos King is a thief. Mm. Oh, my God. Tamar, did you hear that? Child, oh, he you know I heard that. Yes, one of the hosts asked Tamar what she thought, and while she agreed that there was definitely some mess going on, Tamar made it very clear that she was not exactly on Candy's side about this. But I just find it odd that you can steal the rights of the lives yeah. of people that are still alive. Mm -hmm. You gotta do things right when these people are alive and you telling their story. Which is why I don't agree with her calling him a thief. Mm. You know what I mean? I think that's a little, like, what? like off the deep end. And I remember watching that segment like, hmm, Tamara, what you trying to say? What you really trying to get off your chest here? Because I feel like there's something you want to tell us, but you're trying to keep it cute. You got to watch out for reality TV producers. Yeah, and that's Shady Baby, but something in the milk ain't clean. I don't know. I'm not totally convinced that that's what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear from Carlos because I want to know the tea. After that, weeks went by and Tamar Braxton randomly posted this unprovoked series of posts on her Instagram story that got everybody trying to guess who the hell had tried to run up on her. Talk about, I got a story, dot, dot, dot. Y'all want to hear about it? I was threatened by a peach and they, man, I feel like if I did what they did, they would have told the world. But because they don't want y'all, to know how messed up they are as people and city officials, they ain't said nothing. It's beef, and it's real beef, cause your husband stepped to me, exclamation point, period. And I remember we speculated a little bit, but at the end of the day, it was seeming kinda random, so I feel like we just all agreed that nobody gave a f Um. What? But now, Tamar has actually revealed what exactly happened behind the scenes that prompted those seemingly random Instagram posts. I'm leaving my dress room to go to my dancer's dress room to bring them their new clothes, and I see Candy in the hallway. And I'm like, hey, boo, and I give her a hug, you know, whatever, and she just look at me and she's like, I ain't with you. And I'm like, what, what? I'm thinking she's kidding. <laughs> Like, I'm for real I'm thinking she's kidding. And she's like, I ain't f with you. I'm like, what What happened? She's like, oh, well, you said that sh said what I thought Carlos King was about. <laughs> <laughs> I was busting out laughing at these candy impersonations. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But you said and you did and did. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I can see candy doing just like that. <laughs> and then, and then you double down and put it in your story. I said, listen, Kenny, I'm not trying to go there with you. And that's how we got to where we are today with Tamar Braxton getting asked that question in the first place and choosing to come for Candy. Brenna and Ruth from Rhode Island, what's your question for Tamar? Our question is, who is the Atlanta housewife that you hinted about having beef with on Instagram, um, saying her and her husband threatened you? <laughs> it's not Candy. Ooh. Oh, my lamb. <laughs> I thought you and Candy mended everything after Big Brother. I thought so, too. I had no idea. Then, Tadina comes up and, like, he comes and get her, and he says something to her, and then he looks at me in my face. Y'all can believe this shit or not. Can look at me in my face and go, you know what it is. Oh, <laughs> what? Sure. Candy had never really publicly addressed the accusations, and now I imagine that Candy has decided that she ain't saying too much because she knows that Tamar would be the one to benefit the most 
because Bravo and Tamar definitely want us talking about this new show. And that's why Candy instead opted to post this subliminal on her Instagram, where it basically says that Tamar is just a professional victim. I'll be the victim all your life. After that, Candy briefly addressed the drama on her Amazon live stream just to satisfy fans. Oh my gosh, everybody's wanting to know about the beef, about the beef, about the beef. Um, the only thing I'll say right now is, you know, simply that, that's not true. My husband never said nothing to her. He did not threaten her or none of that. So that's why I was like, I don't even want to like address that on Amazon Live. Um, she and I did have words, but <laughs> he did. So that's why I was like, mm, yeah. <laughs> Some people like to twist things a little bit, but we can talk about it later on a different platform or not. Say why not? After that, Tamar continued her fit, even after claiming that she had changed, which is a plug and a reference to her new single that she definitely also wants us to listen to. Posting to social media, talking about it. I'm done talking about it. Obviously, it happened. Candy wants to deflect and condone her man's behavior by calling me a victim, shaking my head. It's abusive and disrespectful, and it's never okay for a man to step to a woman, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Fans don't have to agree. Everyone, have a nice day. Before throwing shade under a shade room post about Candy, talking about, imagine having the biggest ego for the most non-singing ass person in the entire music industry with the eye roll emoji. Stream my new hit song, Changed, where I pay homage to the amazing SWV. All before taking to Twitter to explain what set her off, saying, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm back to my old self. Being called a victim triggered me. But she still can't sing, though. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, y'all. Candy admitted to stepping to Tamar, but she is definitely denying that her husband Todd ever got inappropriately involved which is the main narrative that Tamar has been using to try and get fans on her side. With Tamar making another Instagram story saying, I am the victim when your man steps to a woman, exclamation point, exclamation point. Sounds like an abused woman to me to see nothing wrong with that, exclamation point. I hope he's not beating your behind. I pray for your healing. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Tamar Braxton is dragging this just because she needed to do whatever it takes to get her new show to trend and because she really wants us to buy her song? You go get a damn job. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you think that Candy and Tide really did try to run up on Tamar after all. I feel like I could have believed Tamar's side if she said Candy and Mama Joyce had ran up on her. But I really just can't see Tide getting his hands dirty like this. Oh no, I'm not saying she's a liar, but it ain't that enough. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I will see y'all on the next one. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Act like you know how this goes. Fumble.